remember those who else. We're coming up on Independence Day. Just remember our men and women overseas and the men and women that's already served. We pray the uh, pray God's grace on them. Uh, I know my brother, he's getting ready to leave for Afghanistan. And, you know, that hit me this morning. You know, Charles Stanley, uh, one of the men that has served over there this morning, kind of gave his testimony there. I don't know if anybody caught that. But it's very powerful. You know, he lost his legs there in Afghanistan. And he was talking about how the Lord had worked through it, the situation and everything. But just keep our men and women uh, in prayer that's over there uh, serving our country. Uh, pray for those that you don't see. I know... Uh, uh, we've talked to many of them. The only ones I haven't got to talk to is Eric and uh, Kia to keep them in your prayer. But uh, I did get to touch base with some others this week, and uh, they say they're coming back, but uh, we haven't seen them. It's easy to get out, tough to get back in sometimes. So just uh, pray for those that we visit, those that we're talking to. Uh, pray for us on that visitation program. We all need to get out and get on some fresh doors, too. Uh, so just pray for that. You know, uh, we need to keep, our, keep those in our prayers. And even if you ain't able to come out right now at a set time, if you able, just go talk to a neighbor, talk to someone at work, invite them to church. I'm going to tell you, you know, God will use you and, uh, if you just trust Him. I'm going to tell you, He will. Amen. And use that situation. So, who else? Anybody else got a prayer request? Go ahead, I mean. Remember Benji and me. Benji and I Jean, remember them? Who else? God, I lost a classmate this week. She had a massive heart attack. I seen that picture. She has one boy. He's 12. And then I had another friend. Inbox this morning and told me that she lost her husband Tuesday right. uh, from a massive heart attack. He was 45. So remember right. both of them. Let's keep them in prayer. Pray for uh, the Lord's uh, grace in those situations. Pray for the Lord to touch. Who is? Amen. Amen. Yeah, we had one saved in the men's camp last night. Uh, praise the Lord. It was uh, it, we full house. It's a real blessing. So. Just uh, continue to remember the, the one that gives life to Christ and pray that God will continue to minister on the camp. Uh, I know it's a tough time. We'd all like to be a family. You know, those guys that won't be able to be out there with family. Um, but just pray for pray for that uh, during this holiday season coming up. So, Who else we got? Pray for Amber. She's over here trying to make me smile there this morning. Hey Amen. I didn't wonder where I was smiling, Amber. I love you. <laughs> Amen. But who else? Oh, uh, just get back on that again. Um, you know, I think to a certain degree, especially when you're when you're in the camp, mm -hmm. you need a lot to the Lord. That's a tough place to keep a lot to the Lord. You're I right. have to say it. And you're right. I'm going to tell you what. Um, first of all, we all judge men. Mm -hmm. I mean, let me just go ahead and show where the rubber hits the road. Yeah, but a lot of times when, you, uh, when the Lord has put you there to get your attention, mm -hmm. you've gone pretty far off. Amen. And it's, it's harder, I think, sometimes to get a fair shake. You're right. And I just want to lift up those that are, that are, that are trying to stand up for the Lord in very difficult circumstances. Uh, because, uh, quite frankly, their testimony has the potential to be the strongest of anybody's. Amen. Because of the fact that they, because of the fact, quite frankly, that they'll be plain. Amen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we all talk about, oh, I want to thank the Lord for all He's done for me. No, but they'll speak plain. Amen. And, uh, but you know, in order to be able to get to the point where they can speak plain, we've got to give them a fair shake. You're right, bro. Amen. Let's pray. And you got to remember something with um, saying how in the Bible, how the Lord, when He walks down, He goes and sees some lands on the road, some lands on the sides, and some lands in, in the thorn bushes. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember, the thorn bushes are still there. Blackberry mm -hmm. bushes. Mm -hmm. You have to remember that. Mm -hmm. it's Amen. Safe. Amen. Ooh, I like that. Go ahead, Cameron. Boy, the spirit's already getting thick up in here. I like that. Amen. Out of the mouth of the baby. Thing. You're not a baby, though. I mean, you're, you're growing up. <laughs> I know that some of our young men get offended very quickly when you start yeah, calling them right. uh, They still mom. Where's mine at? He's still mom's baby. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Uh, who else? Anybody else? Uh, if none other, I'll, I'll say, uh, Robert, won't you open this this morning? You mind 